And in other news, Sir Jinx labels Ice Cube a fake gangster as lawsuit drags on. And big shout out to allhiphop.com. This is where I'm getting the source from. So the article says here, according to Jinx, the NWA legend still owes him a production he did on 28 tracks, including No Vaseline. Sir Jinx, who produced multiple songs for Ice Cube throughout the 1990s, filed a lawsuit against the NWA legend in May 2021. According to Jinx, Ice Cube still owes him a production he did on 28 tracks, including No Vaseline. Jinx and Cube ev- evidently haven't come to a resolution. On Saturday, December 17, Sir Jinx took his grievances to Instagram and laid it to his former collaborator. Ice Cube is a homie crook, he wrote. Help others only rob and cheat people that trusted him in their leader position. That's what it is. No code of conduct. He copies the street but never gives back to it. Who the hell am I to pay a lawyer to get money this nigga been on me for years? Nigga can't, niggas can't hide behind big gates and security, but you can't hide from time. Then he also said, your time is coming, Mr. Jackson. Trust me, fake gangster. You're not from 111 Crip. You stole from there. You never went to St. Louis. You stole those stories from Shorty and JD and Big Wave. I suppose you made all this stuff up by yourself. Is he going to pay me or are you going to pay for more security? Oh, boy. And Sir Jinx had to do their dough and proceeded to lay several allegations against Ice Cube. He continued the unveiling has to be complete for due to break. Karma so ready for Karma so ready to fuck him. He's doing you and others the way Warner Brothers did him. You helped him build a persona. He hides behind it and makes money from. Cube has learned a lot from his business partner, Jeffrey Quantinize. This guy creates a hostile workplace by, oh wow, instantly talking about the greatness of Donald Trump's former political advisor, Steve Bannon, while also behaving in this Islamophobic fashion. Wasn't Cube down with the nation? What kind of gangster is this? Sad that these dudes can't be righteous in their family. Ice Cube paints a different picture. Shortly after Sir Jinx went public with his lawsuit, a source close to Cube told TMZ he loaned Jinx a substantial amount of money over the years and was never paid back. Sir Jinx is reportedly seeking a minimal $100,000 in damages. Man, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Check in with Off The Cuff Radio. Subscribe, hit the like button. I'll holler at you.